Hey YouTube, I just wanted to share with you my great ex sprouting experiment, round one, and what I've learned so far. My mom works at a hospital and they throw away these, if you look there, technically for injection. They're just trays and they were thrown away, so if she drug them home, I've given a bunch to the art department who loves them. And I've used some for this. They're also great for other things. Um, so my husband made me this cute container. It's nothing more than a um, 12-inch board. It has slots at an angle. These trays slide in there. They've got holes in the bottom. And I started trying to sprout. I've got day one all the way up to day nine. I just put in this morning. And this is what I've learned so far. One, bottom tray. Always make sure you have something you can get in and out of easily because when it has water in it, you will regret it if you don't. That tray is going to get replaced probably with that bucket over there. Um, two, do not put too many seeds in there. You may fill the top with water, but by the time it trickles down and tries to get everybody wet, too many seeds equal mold. You look, I've got mold in that one, in that one, in that one, in that one. Um, next thing is don't add so many seeds. By day four, I started adding a few less seeds. If you look, I've actually got some sprouts going. So, so far what I've learned is less seed, more water, find a good tray because it will be full of water on the bottom to catch it. And also we're going to try some newer seed. The seed I did the math on and it's at least three years old. So hopefully I'll have better luck with the next batch. In the meantime, I got four trays that need to go to the compost pile. So I'll let you know how it turns out.